it can be difficult for people to start their path down the world of fitness. For those guys and girls interested in building muscle, what you can find on the internet is vast and very daunting to say the least. But there are some things that are more straightforward and fundamentally important for beginners to know. Here's five of them that I think all beginners can benefit from once they start their way down the fitness path. Number one, start with moderate resistance and volume. No pain, no gain, as the model says, couldn't be any more devastating for a beginner to follow. Don't be the guy that can't walk after their very first training session. Fact is, studies do show that untrained individuals can get bigger and stronger without pushing their bodies to the limits. Certainly, maximal intensity and volume become important matters once you're more experienced, but for beginners, it incurs much more exercise-induced muscle damage. And since your body's not used to exercise, you'll be sore and weaker for longer, hurting your future exercise performance. Go moderately heavy, perhaps something you can do comfortably for 10 reps, and then slowly progress from there. Number two, get your protein. Nutrition is important, I think we all can agree to that. But often, beginners fall short on their protein. Within the fitness industry, not many aspects are messier and more confusing than protein intake. Whether that's protein timing, eating protein with your carbs, or using specific types of protein shakes. The information is overwhelming and often unsubstantiated, but none of it matters more than simply getting enough protein each day. A good starting point is consuming one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Or you can check out my protein intake video for other more detailed options based on your goal. Number three, focus on compound movements first. The best way to achieve overall growth and strength is through compound movements. These are like your squats, pull-ups, bench presses, push-ups, and deadlifts, all heavily targeting multiple muscle groups unlike isolation exercises. It will take more effort to master such movements, but the payoff in terms of growth and strength is much more lucrative. If I were to train every beginner in the world, compound movements will be the first target on the list before anything else. Once you get your compounds down, then you can focus on isolation exercises targeting muscles that you want to improve. Number four, work on your mobility. Many beginners and even a lot of experienced trainers for some reason think they can neglect stretching and warming up their muscles and joints. But without proper mobility, improper lifting technique, lack of range of motion, and injuries often follow behind. If you feel like you're not doing a certain exercise correctly no matter how much you practice, chances are that your mobility is holding you back. Implementing tools like dynamic stretches, PNF stretches, joint flows, and even foam rolling can go a long way in improving your mobility. And finally, number five, ask for help. I get it, when you're at the gym, all you want to do is blend in like everyone else, even if you don't know what you're doing. You might be timid in asking for help from that one athletic guy doing that one exercise that you've been trying to learn. But think about it this way. Whatever emotions or concerns you might have about asking someone else for help, chances are that someone else was in the exact situation as you are now. And unlike others that never sought help and quit, that someone else set aside their fears and approached their someone else and got the support they needed. And contrary to popular belief, people at the gym are more than willing to lend a helping hand. After all, they understand the struggle just as much as you do. So muster up the courage, put your own pride aside, and ask for help when you need it. One day, once you're all muscular and knowledgeable, you might be able to return that favor. And there you go. That's my five tips for beginners wanting to build muscle. I hope this helps some of you watching this. For those of you that are a little bit more advanced, please share some of your tips below and help your fellow peers. Other than that, let me know what you thought about the tips or if you want tips on other topics. As always, thank you for watching.